If I get lost in the woods, how do I get home? My brain knows. I hope. <laughs> Hey everybody, Trace here for D News. Thanks for coming by. Sometimes I read science and I'm just floored by how much we don't know about the world we're living in. For example, how does your brain, a lump of tissue stuck inside of your skull, know where it is, where it's going, and where it's been in three-dimensional space? It's not like it has GPS, right? Well, maybe it actually kind of does, sorta. This week, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was handed out to Professor John O'Keefe and Edvard and Maybrit Moser for their studies of the brain's internal navigation systems. In the 1970s, O'Keefe discovered neurons that he called place cells that fire only when an animal is in a particular spot. At the time, the news didn't really take off in the media, but other researchers continued plugging away at this research. Then in 2005, the Mosers, working with O'Keefe in London, found a set of cells in the brains of rats which helped those rats navigate. They called them grid cells, and according to the write-ups in Scientific American and Nature, they're like a map or a navigational chart of the rat's environment. The cells help us place ourselves and know where we are in the space. Their research showed animals were creating a, quote, representation of the external world inside their brains, said Dr. Colin Lever from the University of Durham, one of the colleagues of O'Keefe. The grid cells reside in part of the hippocampus called the entorhinal cortex. By attaching extra sensitive sensors that can detect the firing of individual neurons, the researchers found that the neurons fired and created a near-perfect hexagonal grid of locations in the rat's brain to map the space it explored. That's really incredible stuff to say the least. Why a hexagon? I'm glad you asked. Hexagons, like in a honeycomb, are the most efficient shapes possible to get the most map with the least effort. The simplicity is just like, what? Nature created the most efficient way to map a space using evolution. They did the experiments again and again because they're like, this simplicity is too much, and they kept getting the same information. This was a secret language that existed deep in the rat's brain, and probably ours, all this time. And when they attached the electrodes to the cells of the brain of that rat, they revealed that grid in real life. They won a Nobel Prize in 2005, even though that wasn't when the discovery happened, because they kept producing more and more research on how these grid cells worked and how it tied to the growth and development, to memory, to disease, and so on and so on. For example, the Mosers hypothesized that the grid cells form within a few weeks of birth and then develop as we learn to explore the world. They also guessed, because the entorhinal cortex is one of the first parts of the brain to succumb to Alzheimer's, that might be why sufferers can't recall where they've been or where they are. Knowing how we map things can help us develop a better understanding of human development. These Nobel winners have no desire to slow down either. They want to map how these grid cells integrate into the brain, develop and grow, and how the grid will change if instead of, say, a flat cage, the rat is reared in a sphere, which is where my thoughts first went. I wanted to know how three-dimensional space would change. You can't just make a grid. There's no flat world to map. Is this why, like, Khan lost in the original Wrath of Khan? A two-dimensional mind and a three-dimensional world? If we were born in space, would we develop a three-dimensional grid? I don't know, but holy crap, my brain hurts just thinking about it. So it's not really GPS, which is what the media is commonly reporting, but it does help you map your apartment or where the milk is in a store, which sounds pretty useful to me. Do you have a good sense of direction, though? Can you wander around your house in the dark? Go ahead and subscribe to D News, and then leave a comment way down there and let us know what you think. And make sure you come back for more every single day of the week.